Well, hello, one and all. I hate that moment where I just paused and didn't realize I was recording it. Anyway, I just watched 127 hours, and I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I liked the um, the look at the human psyche that it shows. Just kind of that whole process of, uh, well, for one, there's the process of grief and accepting one's own mortality. The whole um, moment of shock, and then the, okay, this isn't really happening, I can get out of this, you've got it, okay, stay together, and then the breakdown of kind of going a little insane. But I also liked how Aaron is displayed as a person who analyzed the situations he was in and then reflected on it as they were happening, which is kind of the per type of person I am. Um, not everybody is this way, I've learned that, but basically even in the moment of being trapped under the rock, there's like the scene where he wakes up and he's like, he reenacts like a morning TV show and acts like all the characters on the show um, and makes fun of himself and laughs about the situation in this way that is just ridiculous. Like it's it's not just, oh, I'm talking to myself, you're so stupid, but it's this whole mental animated scene of, you know, a morning talk show and something like that. It's, it's definitely something I would do if I were in that situation because I've done exactly the same similar thing whether it's being sick and writhing in pain on the floor or um, completely dehydrated laying naked in a bathtub while Jim watered me thank you Jim for watering me so that I did not die when I was overly dehydrated uh, but yeah so those of you that know me know that I've kinda got that level of crazy going on but and I connected with that in this so I suggest the movie it's really good of course most people know some of what happens, a little gore that goes on, but not bad. And overall, I think you'll like it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll be in New Orleans at New Orleans Comic Con. So if you're there, uh, find me, and maybe you can be my video.